Hello, so I uh, have another one of Royals ACs, the Spirit in this case. It is a uh, Spirit Rifle and uh, Halberd Blade user uh, versus the Nexus Oracle. Uh, it seems a lot of his uh, like to go against the Nexus Oracle. Uh, so this is the remade version of the Oracle. It's got a radar instead of a uh, linear cannon. Um, again, basic idea was since there's no OPI, he can't exactly use it. And given that it's just one-on-one, -on -one, the uh, ammo capacity uh, difference that it makes really wouldn't change much. Uh, I've never actually seen him run out of his uh, regular linear rifle. Uh, the damage is comparable, and, well, the radar makes sure that he doesn't go and uh, start a flipping a wall like a genius. So, let's see who does better here. Uh, between the two of them, uh, the Oracle's usually pretty good at putting out heat. However, unless he gets his missile and linear rifle off consistently, I probably won't be doing that much good. Uh, the Spirit tends to run pretty hot, but doesn't really overheat that much. So let's just show that. So it's a pretty quick cooler. Again, it runs into uh, output down pretty frequently uh, whenever it's under a lot of pressure. But overall, it's very good at recovery. That's a close range of later. Uh, mostly the rifle is just there for closing. Um, pretty decent defenses all around mostly based on speed. Uh, he's definitely better at using the blade than the AI is doing right now. There we go, getting a kind of slash off, but it's still a pretty close fight. That spirit really pumps out damage effectively. Actually, it's kind of funny, uh, in early 3rd gen, the amount of effort he had to put through to get the Sawa and the drain of it compared to the, to the what was later known as the spirit. It's a little bit of a miracle anyone bothered. This thing was just better in pretty much every way. At least as far as I'm concerned. Like, yes, it lost some damage and all that. But for most purposes, it was just better. Okay, so the Oracle just tanked the shots that first time around. It was pretty close, but um, then he missed several shots in a row. And problems happened. So let's take another gander here. Wait, what? That's not what I'm trying to do at all. Da, 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 da. Go down to the cool control and go get the oracle. Alright, at the mushroom base. And found out last time that yeah, it's apparently frame skipping that causes the freaky effects in here. And if I turn down the resolution, well, then we get one times the resolution. So it kind of looks like crap, but then we can turn off frame skipping. So, it runs a little smoother and, you know, it looks way worse. So I guess just kind of let me know which is preferred. Because personally, I just hate this resolution. I think I... I don't know if I have texture scaling on or not. No. Scale up the texture a little bit. I can't imagine that it actually even does anything to this. Because it still looks like it's the same. And yeah, we're, we're still getting kind of those lag effects because of no frame skipping. But I think now's probably the time to turn it back on. Get a weird mushroom effect back. Get that nice resolution. And yeah, there we go. Unfortunately, the spirit lost again. I've never heard a cat snore before. But there we go, it just happened. Wait, that's the wrong one. Yeah, definitely the wrong one. I'm actually kind of curious to see how that thing would do against um, Shatter. Don't know though. That's a project for another time. Actually, I think for the next few parts, I'm just going to go back and see what uh, existing roster stuff can fight against other existing roster stuff, because there's like, let's see, 30 times 5, plus another 8, so, uh, freaking 190 ACs, seriously, has it really been that many? Am I counting that right? Yeah, I guess I am. Yeah. Other than a few times when there were different versions of the same thing, um, freaking 190 ACs in there. 
to... I mean, somewhere in there, there have to be some different fights. As much as I enjoy making new ones, I guess I might as well make some use of the ones that already exist. <laughs> uh. Come on, spirit. I think the energy uh, energy defense is just a little too high in the Oracle. It just it that thing needs missiles to be taken down, or at least some shell attack of some sort. I mean, that blade will do some damage, the laser will do some damage, but you'd have to be backing off and constantly dodging to actually stand a chance. So, sorry man, the spirit did not do so hot this time around. Um, see if uh, any... I, you know what? Last one round thing, I want to see how it does against uh, Shatter. There we go, pro squad, even though he's not really much of a pro, but whatever. Let's just test it. You know, feels like a similar idea because these were supposed to be rival ACs uh, that he put together. And we're getting lots of Eagle Island lately. Energy output should do some good damage, but he has to stay on his sides. Now, whenever they're using the blading chip, they seem to already try to just bum rush and sort of get around their side a little bit. Um, doing the kind of strafe slash kind of thing is... I don't know, I haven't been able to get them to consistently do that. And, okay, maybe, maybe it didn't do so hot against the spike. Um... Right. That thing can maybe use some shell defense on it. Uh, anyhow, so that'll be it for this part, and uh, let me know if you have any requests.